the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, be with you always. And with your spirit. Good morning, sisters and brothers. My name is Father Vincent Chavez. I'm accompanied here, this Mass, by Deacon Michael Wesley. We're part of the pastoral team at glorious St. Therese, the shrine here in New Mexico for St. Therese of Lisieux, the little flower. In our shrine church, we have two massive windows, the Ascension window, and across from it is the Assumption window, the Assumption of Mary into heaven, the Ascension of our Lord into heaven. And these two windows across from each other symbolize both Jesus and Mary completing their earthly work and going to heaven where they can be present to all people of every way of life, every language, every culture, at all times and places. Today, the church celebrates the great solemnity of Jesus' ascension into heaven. And during the Easter season, it is very appropriate for us to renew our promises of holy baptism. And so I ask you, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God. I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. May we always be proud to profess it through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, 
and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking up at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. his throne to shouts of joy Alleluia Alleluia God mounts his throne to shouts of joy Alleluia Alleluia All peoples clap your hands cry to God with shouts of joy for the Lord most high we must fear great king over all the earth God mounts his throne to shouts of joy Alleluia Alleluia A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. 
Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. In chapter 16 of the Gospel of John, Jesus tells the apostles that he's going to leave them. And the apostles are very sad when they hear this. You know, they love Jesus. And they have come to identify with him, and they can't imagine a life without him. But Jesus tells them that they should be happy that he's leaving them, because if he doesn't leave, he can't send them the comforter. But this wouldn't have been much comfort for the apostles, because they wouldn't be able to see what possible good could come from Jesus leaving them. You know, for three days now, they had been in the presence of this charismatic, loving person. They were constantly experiencing these signs and wonders that Jesus did. And whenever there was an obstacle in their path, Jesus was able to deal with it. You know, they believed that as long as they were with Jesus, no harm could come to them. And now Jesus is leaving them and they're supposed to be happy about it? Well, sometimes we too can feel overconfident when we have everything going our way. You know, why should we trust in God when we have Walmart to provide for our needs? And the apostles may have grown to feel this way about Jesus too. Why did they need to have faith in God? Jesus had enough faith for all of them. But after the crucifixion, and especially after Jesus' ascension into heaven, they didn't have the security in Jesus that they once had. Who were they going to trust in now? So they hid and they prayed. And as they prayed, they realized that they still could trust in God. And this was the reason that Jesus had been taken from them. They had to be weaned away from their trust in a man, albeit Jesus Christ, but a man still, they needed to be weaned away from him so that they could begin trusting in God themselves. So when they received the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost, they were ready to go out and perform signs and wonders themselves. Jesus' absence helped them to realize that God could work through them too. So, what will the absence of our securities do for us? Will it help us to realize our need for God? Will it increase our faith in him? You know, the coronavirus didn't come from God, but it is an opportunity for us to grow in our faith and in our trust in him. And like with the apostles, if our faith in God grows through this trial, we may be opening the doors for a brand new Pentecost ourselves. Trusting in our Lord on this solemnity of the ascension, let us offer the needs, the worries, the burdens, anxieties that we hold before the throne of the Most Holy One. For the church, that we continue to carry on the commission Christ gave to his first disciples, preaching, teaching, and baptizing throughout all nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all nations will lay down their arms and resolve never again to use instruments of death to resolve disagreements and discord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer 
from systemic persecution, oppression, and discrimination, the justice and righteousness may overcome sin and all evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the parish vocations committees of our diocese, that they will grow in appreciation of the task entrusted to them, and that the seeds of awareness they plant will grow to maturity through prayer and care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the members of our community that are in need of prayer, and whose intentions are contained in this basket. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Hear us, loving God. Hear and answer the prayers and needs that this your faithful people bring before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and us, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but with that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. We pray the second Eucharistic prayer, the most ancient of the church, composed in Antioch of Syria. And of course we hold the people of Syria and that country in our hearts as we use their ancient text. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and cup of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John Charles, our Bishop, and all women and men who serve you. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Francis of Assisi, the patron of our archdiocese, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. amen. With longing for the coming of the kingdom of God, let us pray to the Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Perhaps you might want to send a text or a phone call, a wish of peace to a loved one. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate the divine mysteries, grant that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings and peace of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Descend upon you and your loved ones, living and deceased, this feast of the ascension and forever. Amen. Amen. Go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.